Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rukai Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS, and salutations to all you Akimaka pushing his word in sincerity and in truth. Coming back at you with a, another lesson. This lesson is going to be about um, spiritual Israelites. There's no such thing as spiritual Israelites. And that's what most um, churches believe, that there are spiritual Israelites when there's not. And uh, I was looking at a video that the, brother, that the elder brother from um, Texas did, Yasha Wamba, and he basically did a response to uh, a video that Nathaniel, the guys over there at all, uh, it was Nathaniel, Nathaniel 7, you know, his, his IUIC was doing a um, breakdown of T.D. Jakes in a church preaching. And basically T.D. Jakes and a lot of other Negro preachers out there teach that they're spiritual Israelites, basically. And they, they believe that everybody's going to heaven who, believe, who believes in Jesus Christ and all this stuff. And basically it's a false doctrine, you know. He's for everybody making it. You know what I'm saying? He loves... Uh, the so-called white man has got T.D. Jakes and a lot of these other Negro preachers out there because they're giving them this uh, 501 CK charter. That's how they're able to um, bring out the garbage that they're bringing out. You know, they're, they're not for the truth. And basically, uh, T.D. Jakes, he's against um, the teachings of, the, of, of, of our teachers. He's basically against our teachers, man. You know, Hebrew Israelites, he, he doesn't believe that Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the um, biblical is Israelites. And he believes that those people over there in Jerusalem, those false Jews, are the real Israelites. Okay, and like I said, there's no such thing as spiritual Israelites. And I'm going to start this out with um, Romans 9th chapter, and I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, this is Paul speaking. I say the truth in Yahweh Shah, I lie not. My conscience also bear me witness in the Holy Spirit that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were accursed from Yahweh Shai for, for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh. Okay, so who is Paul's um, brethren a kinsman, and kinsmen according to the flesh? Verse 4 is going to say it. Who are Israelites? Okay, so there's no spiritual Israelites. You, you are Israelite by the flesh, man. Okay? It says, who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of Yahweh and the promises. Okay? And who, who's given the uh, service of, the, of, of Yahweh by Shem Shai? The Levites. This would be the uh, so-called Haitians today. Who was given the adoption? Who did Yahweh Shai come back for? The Israelites. Who were the covenants given it to? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the 12 tribes of Israel, man. The covenants were given to Israelites of the flesh, man, not no spiritual Israelites. Okay? Verse 5 says, Whose are the fathers, and of whom, as concerning the flesh, Yahweh Shai came? So Yahweh Shai came for the 12 tribes of Israel, of the flesh, man, not no spiritual Israelites, man. Who is over all Yahweh blessed forever. Amen. Okay? So that quick, clearly cuts that whole thing about um, there being spiritual Israelites. There's no such thing as that, man. That's a man-made doctrine, and it's going off, man. Okay, and the Negro preachers that's preaching that, they're going to get um, destroyed for that, man, bringing out false doctrine, man. This is Hebrews uh, 10, I mean Hebrews 8, and um, I'm going to start at verse 10. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days. After what days? After the downfall, after the destruction of America, man. After the destruction of Babylon and America, after uh, the white man is taken out of power and all these other nations, man. Okay, because Israel is going to rule this planet, man. The 12 tribes of Israel is going to rule this planet, and these other nations out here are going to be in subjection under the 12 tribes of Israel, man. This is Hebrews 8 and 10. It says, For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days. It didn't say no other nations. It said the house of Israel, which consists of the 12 tribes, man. Said the Lord, 
I will put my laws into their mind and write them into their hearts, and I will be to them a power, and they shall be to me a people. And they shall not teach every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. Okay? And that's and that's that's what the promise is, man. This is for the, the twelve tribes of Israel, man, not no spiritual Israelites, man. The twelve tribes of Israel in the flesh, man. So called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And there are Israelites out there that look like the other nations, that look like um you know, the so-called white man, they look like the uh, so-called East Indians, the so-called Asians, the so-called Africans. You know, they're confusing their faces, man, but they're still part of the 12 tribes of Israel, man. Okay? Let me jump off here to some Psalms real quick. So, there's a lot of BS that's being taught out there um, by these false prophets, which is prophesied in the scriptures that they're going to be false prophets out there. You know? And they're just doing it for that belly, man, for that money, man. All right, so this is um, Psalms 105 and 6. It says, O ye seed of Abraham, his servant, ye children of Jacob, his chosen. Okay? Jacob's name was changed to Israel, man. Okay, the Israelites are the chosen. It says, He is the Lord our power. Our, meaning that's possession. He is the Lord our power. That's possession, man. His judgments are in all the earth. He have remembered his covenant forever. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations. Which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath with Isaac. And confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law. And to Israel for an everlasting covenant. So it's going to be an everlasting covenant. Man. With Jacob whose name was changed to Israel. It didn't say nothing about no other nations man. Okay, so you people out there that with all this spiritual Israel like crap, man, you, you people are lost, man. And it's going to be shown when, every, when this society breaks down, you're going to know who your enemy is, man, when they start attacking you and getting violent with you, man. When the time of Jacob's trouble comes, you're going to find out that those people talking about their spiritual Israelites and all that so called white men in those other nations, they're going to turn on you, man. Okay? You're going to find out a, 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 a real hard, harsh way of who your enemy is, man. Okay? This is uh, Matthew 18 and 11. For the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. Okay? And the Son of Man is Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. The Son of Man came to save that which was lost. And what was lost? The 12 tribes of Israel, man. The 12 tribes of Israel is, which, is that which was lost, man. Okay, this is uh, Matthew 15 and 21. It says, Then Yahweh went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. But he asked her, and answered her not a word. And his, and his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away. For she cried after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay? And I just read in uh, Matthew 18 and 11 where Yahweh said, I am come to send, find that which was lost. Okay? And this is Matthew 15 and uh, verse 20, 24 in particular says, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel, man. Okay, so there are no spiritual Israelites out there, man. That, that doctrine is, is madness, man. Okay? This is, um, I'm going to go here to Matthew. Let me see. Um, yeah, Matthew um, 1 and 19. Well, actually, I'm going to jump down to verse 21. It's, this is Matthew 1 and 21. It says, And she shall bring forth a son, and this is Mary, bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai, for he shall save his people from their sins. It says his people. 
okay, not the other nations, his people, which are the Israelites, man. Okay, Yahweh Shah was a Hebrew, man. He was a Hebrew Israelite, man. And, and, and I'm going to read it right here. This is, um, let me go over here to, uh, to Hebrews real quick. All right. Uh, so this is Hebrews um, 7, and I'm going to start at 14. It says, For it is evident that our Lord, which is Yahweh Shah, sprang out of Judah, of which tribe Moses spake nothing concerning the priesthood. Okay. Because concerning the priesthood, that was the Levites. But Yahweh Shah is of the tribe of Judah, man. Okay, and you can read Revelations uh, 5 and 5. And it says, the lion from the tribe of Israel was worthy to open the book, man. Okay, so Yahweh Shah would be a so-called so Negro, man. From the tribe of Judah. So there are no such thing as spiritual Israelites. That's a false doctrine. And you got all these Negro preachers and all these preachers that be on TV, these televangelists that's pushing that nonsense, man. And that 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 thing is is being exposed because people are starting to ask questions now because this truth is getting out there, and the world is um, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are waking up to who the fact that who they are, man. And there's going to be a elect out there, and they're going to rule this world in righteousness, man. So with that, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekar Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of GMS, and salutations to all you, I can that push this word in sincerity and in truth. Shalom.